All right, so we are going to be book folding. And this is the heart pattern. It is, everything is listed over here. So the method that we're gonna be using is, me is measure, mark, and fold. Um, number of pages that you're gonna be using, 275. So that's the minimum, minimum amount of pages that you need in your book. Um, we are going to be using centimeters, so book height needs to be for at least 14 centimeters high. The pattern looks like this, where there's a list, it's like a spreadsheet of the measurements. The first page number doesn't necessarily mean the first page, like page one. It actually means just the first page that you're going to fold. So that's going to depend based on the book that you have. So everyone's first page start is going to be different. And I'm going to show you the website that I use to make it easier on, on the math. So here is the website, which is linked on um, the module. So finding your start page. So I know I have a book right here that I have already done and we're going to just go based on that. So. <clears throat> it says enter the number of last printed number page for the back of the book so you're gonna go to the back of the book and you're gonna look and find the last page that it's numbered so mine says 306 so I'm gonna type that in enter the number of unnumbered pages both sides of these at the front of the book so we're gonna go at the front of the book <clears throat> not it. We're not gonna, I don't usually use this binding page, I use the first actual page. And you see how it doesn't automatically start um, with the numbers until about there, and this is one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count the pages until it starts with a number. So we're just counting the extra pages. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six extra pages and we're gonna type that in. Enter the number of unnumbered pages, both sides of the leaf at the back of the book. So you're gonna do the same thing on the back of the book. Disregard that binding page. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, we are back at 306, so we have eight extra pages here not 88 there you go so this is the number that we have usable okay um and to the number of pages not folds required for your pattern this will be printed on your pattern detail so right on the front now some patterns say uh, number of folds but over here i made it so that it says number of pages to make it easier for you so required number of pages is 275 you type that in this is the total number of spare pages in your book. So that's, if you look at something that's maybe almost finished, it's this gap over here, these spaces. You want to make it so that it's pretty even, so that whatever design you're doing is centered and not towards the left or towards the right, or you end up running out of room, okay? <clears throat> so... The number, this is the actual number of pages, both sides you need to count from your first usable page. So to make that easier, this number minus your front page, so that's six. So I have 23 minus six, and that's the front pages, equals 17. So I'm gonna start at page number 17. So, for those that have the paper, you're gonna go on your, and I'm gonna close this down and actually focus in on this. So your start page is not gonna be one, it's gonna be actually 17. So that's how I like to start it so that we can keep track of everything. Let me get a darker pen. So 17. Now, when we start folding, we're only folding on one side of the page. So when we start folding, we're gonna always fold on the odd page, okay? Like the book looking straight up and down like this. It's always gonna be the, the page on the right. 
So that's going to always be the odd numbered page. So it starts at 17. Um, if your start page is an even number, then pick um, the odd number next to it, whichever it is. So if it was 16, you can pick 15 or you can do 17. So whichever one. So mine's 17 and it's going to skip. So it's going to go, it's going to, it's not going to go 17, 18, 19. It's going to go 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27. It's going to do the odds going by 2. 29, 31, 30, 3, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, and so on. And me, I like to just have that all written out so that when I finish one page, you know, I can continue writing it on the next one. But you should, I really recommend you writing your actual page just in case you have to stop and you know where you stopped. Or if you have to check your work, you can actually go to page 45 and check, did I measure it correctly? Okay, so I didn't want to say too much of that because I do want to talk about the measurements. So after you finish completing all this, oops. So on. Now you're gonna look at this and you're gonna say, okay, but my start page is page 17 of the actual book. So I know this is already done, but I didn't want to start a new book. So my start page is this is my actual start page. I did circle it just so that I remembered. But on the pattern here, it says no folds. Then there's no folds up to 27. So you can skip that and start on your actual starting, which is um, page 29. So that's only for the heart pattern, the paw print pattern, and most other patterns don't have that. But just so that you know, okay, that is my start page, but I don't actually start folding and measuring until page 29. So we're done with all this. This is a good thing to do is cross out. <clears throat> So I'm going to go on page 29. So here, I'm going to go on page 29. Literally page 29. All right. Now you can see that it's already been, oops, looks like it's a little bit burnt. Um, This is page 29. And the first measure, if you look here, is 7. So seven centimeters, and it's going to be coming from the top, always. Oh, that's inches. Make sure that you are checking and making sure that you're doing that correctly. So we're going to measure from the top of the book, always. So your number one should be over here, and you should be looking at your ruler and seeing that the actual start of the first centimeter is lined up with the top of your top of the page. Okay, so the first one is seven. So I'm going to mark where it's seven, exactly seven centimeters right there. That's your first mark. Your second mark is going to be 7.8. Now there's 10 millimeters in each centimeter. So this makes it easy for you with the decimals. So it's going to be 7.8. So it's going to be eight notches down. So if this is the five, here, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. So the next one is 7.8, so you're gonna say seven. Here's the five, this is halfway, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna measure right around here. Try to get it as exact as you can um, so that you have more of a precise fold. So then, you okay, can see that that was my previous one. Then you're gonna fold Zoom out. Fold up this side up to this line that you have here. And when you fold, you're going to press down really good because we want this as flat as possible. And then the second fold is going to come from the top and we're going to fold to that line. We're going to try our very best to make these lines parallel to each other. We're not going to do any of this stuff. You see how it's crooked? 
we're not gonna do that we are gonna make it straight so that all these folds are pretty much this is parallel and this is gonna be perpendicular there is a nice order to this if it's folded all crooked the end result is gonna look kind of whacked out a little bit okay so that's your first fold your measure and fold and you can cross that out then you're gonna turn the page <clears throat> and like that one I think I ripped up for some reason I don't even know why then this is page 31 31's measurement now it's gonna be funny at first you're gonna be like why is um, <clears throat> why is this not like lining up or maybe it might look funny at first I like to put my phone over here as I'm folding because the books like to close um, so now we're at the second one <clears throat> so it's gonna be 6.5 so we're gonna do this again 6.5 right here and then the second measurement is 8.5 now you see I'm keeping the 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 ruler where it is I'm not moving it I'm not I'm always measuring from the top 8.5 okay now some people like to mark everything and then fold um, some people like to mark and then fold like we were just doing now uh, it's totally up to you how you want to go about this uh, whatever makes it easier makes sense to you I'm showing you mark uh, measure marking and then folding right away okay and then see I'm folding it to that line I'm folding it to this line so you're gonna have to get right up on that line and remember straight so these two things are gonna be parallel okay and so you're done with that and then you cross out <clears throat> so you're gonna keep doing that now I already have mine done. You're going to keep doing that for a little while until all of these are pretty much done. So this is something that can, with dedication, you can get it done in a couple hours. If you're doing it um, while you're watching TV or anything like that, um, the time passes pretty quickly. Um, I've noticed that when you when you do measure mark and fold right away some parts stay flatter than others um, if you like to mark it all first and then fold all at once like in one shot it might be easier for you and in the end it might have like more tighter look but this is how it ends up looking once you have every some people like to put ribbons over here to kind of hold it in um, but as long as you're folding nice and crispy and you're measuring correctly, then it will look like just like the picture, okay? Um, if you notice at one point that you're, something's off, it's not looking right, then that's when you would go, okay, let me, this page looks a little wacky. I'm gonna go to this page and refer back to my spreadsheet and, and recheck yourself. So this is something that you can um, check yourself and see if you got it wrong. Maybe the first time you're not sure how to use a ruler or this, it's, you know, the first time's always tricky. Um, you can always check it and fix it, okay? So this is very, this is something that's simple enough for, um, to have a nice outcome. Just slow and steady will make it look very nice makes good gifts makes good um teacher presents very unique very different um and once you get the hang of this you can do so many other patterns from letters to special um designs to actual whole words or last names or anything like that um the creativity with that is 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 amazing what you see on instagram and online but that's how you start it and that's how you would continue working through it, okay?